So today I'm going to show you guys how to create an adult coloring book slash journal slash motivational thingy McJiggy using Canva. In a new tab, we're going to go to canva.com and we're going to log in. If you don't already have an account, you can sign up. It's free. Once you log into Canva, you'll see an area that says create a design. There you can see a whole bunch of templates that you can use for different things that you need, like social media and resumes and marketing. But for today, we'll be using custom dimensions. So if you go to the top right hand corner, you'll see this area that says use custom dimensions. Click on that. Once you click on it, we can specify what we want. Right now, I'm creating a six by nine book. So I'm going to type in 6.125 by 9.25. The extra numbers that you see at the end are for the trim and bleed of the book. And in the third box that you see right there, make sure you select IN for inches. This step is very, very important. And when you're done, go ahead and click on design. So now we're in our designer area and our first page is going to be our book cover, especially since we're creating everything in one file. Oh, I can't speak today, my goodness. I like to combine a whole bunch of things and it looks a little bit crazy, but so far this is what I'm gonna do. I'm adding in this random pink hair girl right here and these cute looking, see, I don't know. A texture thing and this really cool illustration that I found at Adobe Ugh. I really cannot talk you guys I don't know what's wrong with me today anyways I'll have links to them below if you guys want to use similar things that uh, yeah so I'm adding a filter called drama because I think it looks nice and I'm also trying to add a filter to this girl but then I'm gonna change my mind anyways so it's pointless so moving on, my title is going to be Revel in it, and I'm also going to add this decorative jellyfish behind her, but it's not going to look like a jellyfish, it's just going to look like colorful lines. When I'm done changing my mind and I'm fully satisfied, this is how it looks like. Voila! I'm adding a new page by clicking on this add a new page button, and I'll do it again just so you guys see it's really easy. <laughs> Canva is really basic and simple, so it's easy for me to create journals with it. I'm dragging in some colorful shapes to add some more <laughs> fun to my journal. I like these two colors right here, and I'm lowering the transparency a little bit because I don't want it to be too bold, and I'm dragging in some text. And usually for these pages, I add a quote. So this quote is going to be, stay humble. When I stare at a page for too long, I constantly want to change things, and that's what I'm doing right now. I move the text and change the sizes a million times, and change the colors a million times, and then when I'm satisfied, I go ahead and move to the next page. Just so, you know, I don't lose my mind. Alright, so next up is my blog ideas page, and in this page, I'm dragging in this girl who is half blank and half colored. I edited this illustration using Adobe Illustrator and I did it this way because coloring as I'm brainstorming helps me flow my ideas better and it keeps me from stressing out. And it works for me. I'm adding in a title for this page but keep in mind there are some pages that I just don't title. The bottom portion is going to be my brainstorm area where I'll be writing my thoughts and ideas so I'll be adding some notebook lines so I can organize them a bit. I'll crop it down to a size that I like and then I'm going to duplicate it on the other side so I have more space to write. Also when you're creating your journal or area for brainstorming, I recommend that you design it to a style that fits you best. So if you like lines, I'd add lines and if you don't like lines, don't add lines, add bullet points, whatever you want. I'm also adding in this wonderful colorful seashell right here, especially since I don't like having too much white space and I get to color some more stuff in. So moving on to the next page, I'm going to be creating a social media goals page. So the platforms that I'm mostly on, I'm going to be adding in like little circles and then in those circles, I usually write the goals that I have for the week or the month. You can create custom icons for your social media if you want, but I'll just be using the pre-made ones that come with Canva. The image in the middle is of course so I could color it in because I find it really relaxing 
to color things in while I plan. I don't know. It's just something that I do. If I find some things that I don't like or some colors that I don't like, I always like go back and adjust anything. So the social media icons, if I don't like them, I'll replace them. And the colors, I'll change them if I have to. And then when I'm satisfied, of course, I'll move on to the next page. To match this theme, I'll be adding in this candy like bubblegum pop girl then i'm going to add in some separator lines so that i can create my monday through friday section on the right hand side and on that section i'll just be jotting down the notes of what i'm going to be doing for each day throughout the week to make them stand out a little bit more i'll be changing the colors and of course this page wouldn't be complete without a little area for me to write in my notes and summarize my week. So I'm going to add in some lines and also some labels on the right hand side for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, no the full seven days. I'm going to be adding a little bit of decoration at the top by adding some text, changing the colors, and then adding a star in the background and also changing that color to blend in with my theme. And then I'm also going to add a star at the bottom. There's a reason for this, but um, I won't get into it. Moving on to my to-do list, I want it to be more coloring than anything, so I'll be adding this really large image of this girl with strawberries and everything and then i'll be adding these colorful two-toned blue lines that i found on free pick i'm reusing this frame to make a backdrop for my list i'm dropping in this heading to label it and changing the color and then i'm going to be adding some more lines to organize my thoughts i wanted to add in some pages strictly for coloring so I am adding in this beautiful illustration right here and this awesome illustration that I drew today of a jellyfish girl. Fast forward 35 pages later and we're all done. When I'm done creating my journal on Canva, what I usually do is I save it as a PDF for print and then I go ahead and order a copy from blurb.com. You don't have to use blurb, you can use any website you want or print it out yourself if it's more convenient for you. 